In a world filled with fast-paced living, technological advancements, and societal pressures, it is easy to lose sight of the deeper aspects of our existence. Thomas More's insightful book, Care of the Soul, provides a profound and Jungian approach to everyday life, offering a guide for transforming our experiences into stories and myths that enrich our souls. By recognizing and accepting the profound yet messy nature of our journeys, Moore encourages us to discover the sacred within the ordinary moments of life. Thomas Moore, a best-selling author known for his expertise in spirituality, brings a unique perspective to his work. Throughout his diverse life, he has worn many hats, including that of a monk, psychotherapist, musician, and professor. This rich background has equipped him with a deep understanding of the human psyche and the importance of nurturing our souls. At its core, caring for the soul necessitates a shift in our approach to life's challenges. Rather than perceiving distressing experiences as mere symptoms of a problem, Moore urges us to forge a new relationship with them. He encourages us to perceive things as they truly are, without the filters of our desires and expectations. By observing without judgment or prescription, and by embracing what is, we embark on a transformative journey of soulful self-care. In this book summary, we will explore the key concepts presented in Thomas More's Care of the Soul. First, we will delve into the power of reframing our mindset by re-evaluating our personal narratives, particularly within the context of family dynamics. Then, we will confront the predicament of psychological modernism and discover how infusing everyday experiences with sacredness, myth, and ritual can profoundly nurture our souls. Finally, we will explore the importance of imagination and the significance of listening to our dreams as vital tools for living a soulful existence. Join us as we embark on a journey that will inspire you to care for your soul and embrace the enchantment hidden within the tapestry of everyday life. Chapter 1. Reframing Family, the Sacred Raw Material. In this chapter, we delve into the transformative power of reframing our perspective on family dynamics and recognizing the sacredness within them. Often, family is seen as a source of dysfunction and a breeding ground for various psychological symptoms that need to be fixed. However, caring for the soul requires us to embrace family as the raw material upon which we can build our lives. We begin by exploring the story of David, whose troubled relationship with his mother and absent father brought him great distress. Traditional approaches to therapy often seek to explain and cure such struggles by attributing them solely to the behavior of family members. However, David's therapist took a different approach. Instead of focusing solely on David's father as the source of his problems, they helped David construct his father's story. Through storytelling, David gained a deeper understanding and acceptance of who his father was, allowing him to see himself more clearly. Family, in its inherent messiness, encompasses both devastating abuse and wonderful closeness. To see family as a sacred source in our lives, we need to explore its three primary components, the father, the mother, and the child. These aspects represent energies within ourselves, rather than strict identities or roles. Drawing upon the myth of the Odyssey, we examine the archetype of the absent father. Odysseus, a father at sea, longs to return to his son and wife, while Telemachus yearns for his missing father. The concept of the absent father resonates universally, as every child must endure the experience in some form. Sometimes resolution is elusive, as in David's story, where he sought connection with his father but had to become his own father. This process of becoming our own father involves honoring and cultivating the qualities within ourselves that provide, protect, and take a stand. Turning to Greek mythology's story of Demeter and Persephone, we explore the archetype of the mother. Demeter's loss of Persephone to the depths of the underworld symbolizes the natural process of separation between mothers and daughters. Understanding this myth helps us navigate the perpetual conflict of holding on and letting go within the mother-daughter energy present in each of us. Lastly, we examine the child archetype, often portrayed in religious stories throughout history. In today's world, societal expectations push us to conform to maturity, leading us to abandon the vulnerable, childlike aspects of ourselves. Embracing our inner child means embracing vulnerability, faults, fears, passions, and the full range of emotions that may make us uncomfortable. 
The concepts of fatherhood, motherhood, and childhood are deeply ingrained in human history and collective consciousness. Rather than treating family as a broken entity in need of fixing, we must recognize its sacred nature. By acknowledging both the pain and pleasure, the mistakes and wisdom within family, we embark on a gradual and ongoing process of shifting our mindset. As we embrace this new paradigm, we find that anger, anxiety, and depression slowly dissipate. We become willing to face those who have caused us harm and, most importantly, we develop the ability to see ourselves authentically and love our whole being with all our heart. Chapter 2 – Retreat, Ritual, and Myth – Nurturing the Soul In this chapter, we explore the importance of retreat, ritual, and myth in caring for the soul. Looking to the example of Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung and his creation of stone towers as a retreat from the modern world, we recognize the inherent human need to put distance between ourselves and the demands of society. Retreat allows us to create space for introspection and reconnect with our soul's needs. Our modern society is plagued by neuroses and psychoses, which may stem from blindly adopting the values and technologies of the modern world without critical examination. We often find ourselves attached to devices and seduced by advertising through the influence of social media. To counteract this disconnect from our soul's well-being, we must cultivate a spirituality that embraces the ordinary and mundane aspects of life. The author highlights how diseases, such as anorexia, can have a compulsive ritual component, suggesting that the lack of meaningful ways to care for our bodies may contribute to their manifestation. The existence of fast food culture, which devalues food as a mere source of sustenance, further emphasizes the need to elevate the value of nourishment and cherish the rituals of dining together. Caring for the soul requires pausing, immersing ourselves in the present moment, and engaging in activities that foster connection, intimacy, and attention to detail. Three key elements for nurturing and cultivating soulfulness are sacredness, ritual, and myth. Everyday sacredness can be practiced by carving out moments of separation from the world, even if it is not to the extent of Jung's isolated retreats. Engaging in activities like deep breathing, walking in nature, journaling, painting, listening to music, or simply sitting in silence with a cup of tea in our thoughts allows us to create sacred space for the soul to thrive. Myth plays a crucial role in caring for the soul. Our lives are filled with stories, both personal and ancestral. Instead of reducing our stories to simple cause and effect explanations, we must embrace the unraveling of meaning that myth offers. By telling our stories without judgment and exploring them from various angles, we gain a clearer understanding of ourselves and our experiences, as exemplified by David's journey in the previous section. Ritual, once associated mainly with religious practices, holds significance in nurturing the soul. While many traditional religious rituals may have lost relevance in our lives, resurrecting the rituals of our childhood or creating new ones can foster a deeper connection to our soul's needs. Whether related to religion or not, Rituals can be reshaped and imbued with personal meaning to enrich our everyday existence. By embracing retreat, engaging in meaningful rituals, and exploring the depths of myth, we create a framework for caring for our souls in a world that often prioritizes speed and efficiency over introspection and depth. As we honor these practices, our souls flourish, leading to a greater sense of self-awareness, connection, and love for our whole being. Chapter 3 Imagination and Dreams, Nourishing the Soul In this final chapter, we delve into the significance of imagination and dreams in caring for the soul. Julia's story, where a simple dream of white crepes with green peas led her to discover her pregnancy, illustrates the power of dreams as symbolic messages from the soul. To truly care for our souls, we must cultivate a state of imagination and attentively listen to our dreams. Imagination plays a vital role in infusing creativity and meaning into our daily rituals. Rather than mindlessly consuming fast food, we can embrace the act of preparation, plating, and setting the table with attention and imagination. By adorning our meals with flowers or candles and gathering with loved ones, we transform a mere act of sustenance into a creative and imaginative experience. As we practice this approach, we discover that even the most mundane rituals can be infused with creativity and depth. 
Engaging in creative pursuits such as knitting can complement our moments of reflection and introspection, nurturing our soulful connection with the world. Approaching life with imagination also extends to our interpretation of experiences. Instead of solely focusing on fixing things to keep up with the demands of life, we must bring imagination to moments of pain, shame, or grief. Living a soulful life involves embracing the exploration of these moments with imagination rather than seeking immediate cures. By doing so, we open ourselves up to deeper understanding and transformative growth. Listening to our dreams becomes a powerful way to connect with the mythology of our souls. Dreams offer profound insights and gifts when we pay attention to them and take the time to record and reflect upon them. Resisting the urge to immediately jump to interpretations, we invite imagination into the process. Sylvia's dream of her friend covering her typewriter with crayon scribbles illustrates the importance of exploring multiple possibilities. By bringing imagination to our dreams and withholding judgment, we uncover the rich symbolism and meaning they hold, guiding us towards a more soulful existence. At the core of caring for the soul lies acceptance. It is not about figuring everything out or achieving self-improvement, it is about embracing the exploration itself. Neglecting our souls can lead to missing out on crucial wisdom that steers us away from danger or towards great gifts. Without nurturing our imagination, the world becomes flat, lacking flavor and nourishment. Our approach to life's mysteries, challenges, grief, and pain may become destructive as we seek quick fixes and escapes. Even with the best intentions, without a proper balance of soulfulness, we can easily lose our way. Caring for the soul cannot be treated as a mere task on a checklist. It goes beyond self-improvement. It is the very purpose of life. Prioritizing the nourishment of our souls allows us to tap into essential wisdom, infuse depth into our experiences, and find meaning and purpose in the world around us. By embracing imagination and honoring the messages of our dreams, we embark on a journey towards a more soulful existence, where joy, wisdom, and fulfillment intertwine. Summary. Caring for the soul entails seeking the sacred within the ordinary aspects of life. Through the lens of myth, we gain deeper insights into our own identities and family dynamics. By embracing and incorporating our family stories into our own narratives, we expand our understanding and acceptance of ourselves and others. To infuse our daily lives with sacredness, myth, and ritual, it is essential to carve out moments of pause that allow us to detach from the incessant noise of the modern world. These pauses provide an opportunity for reflection and connection. Furthermore, by nurturing our dreams and cultivating our imagination, we bring fresh perspectives and renewed appreciation to the seemingly mundane aspects of our existence. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description. Trust me, you won't regret it.